Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Well, on the eternal hunt for new ammunition, I found this. These are 9 inch nails, 23 centimeters long. They're quite inexpensive, about 8 cents each. I paid about 10 euros for the entire 120 pieces box. And I think they're really mean. To shoot them, you of course have to saw the head off. This is done in about one minute. Very quick procedure. So I came up with this shooter. It's a pump gun and repeating action and it has a magazine for 10 of the 9 inch nails. This is how you load them. Take the ammo and put them in. Then you close the latch again and the weapon is securely loaded. And you see the bolts cannot fall out because there is a brush, a small brush at the top of the barrel. So in order to cock the heavy bands that you need for the very very heavy steel bolts, they weigh like uh, 77 grams, um, you have to use both arms like in a rowing motion like this. And then the sear catches and you can fire. So this is basically a continuance of my work on the Shuko Nu Chinese slingshot crossbow. I think it's much better because first of all it has more power. Second, you don't have to do this awkward up and down motion to shoot. Um, you can use both arms and also there is a trigger so you can take careful aim before you shoot. So let's test it against this board. So you cock it back, push it to the front and shoot. And then again. So the sticking power of these bolts isn't very good, but look at how deep they went into this board. So let's compare the effect with a good blow of the hammer to the nail, because everyone realizes that if you put this against someone's head and hammer it down, it's very dangerous. Okay, now the second blow brought it in about as deep as these. Now with a little more effort you can make the tips of these even more dangerous. See it's now very pointy. It's just a sharpened version of the same nail. Of course we have to do the coconut test. This wouldn't be the slingshot channel without it. Nailing zombies becomes a whole new meaning. <laughs> it went in really deep. Let's test this with the original tip. Seems like the original tip works even better. So why does this work better than this? Well probably because these are like edges, so they cut into the tissue. While this has to shift the tissue out of the way. So this is more like a squeezing thing and this is more like a cutting impact. I know what you're going to say. There is no fletching. Without fletching it won't be accurate. Well, let me tell you that a heavy bolt doesn't have to have any kind of fletching. Original crossbows in medieval times never had fletching. That was the difference between a bolt and an arrow. Arrow has fletches, bolts don't. And they can still be very accurate. I mean, think about Olympic javelin throwing. Um, they don't need any fletching either. Plus also, see these original little notches that they hack into the steel for more friction when the nail is hammered in. This also works a little bit like fletching because it offers air resistance and air resistance slows down the rear end of the arrow, making the flight more accurate and stable. My wife gave me these because they are no longer good for eating, so we can shoot at it. It's going to be a mess and it has to be inside because it's raining so hard outside. And 
went in and penetrated the board. So, hope you like this. <laughs> Man, it's so much fun. I can't stop doing it. <laughs> well, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks and bye bye.